Roasting Robusta. Hello and welcome to another episode of Roasting Robusta with me, Francis Beck. We'll jump right into it with this medium profile. You'll be able to follow how the rose progressed here at another part of the screen. So to make the videos not so unwieldingly long, I'm kind of trying it this way now. So here I already prepared everything for the flare espresso. Let's just get this on and start timing. Now, I did change the settings compared to... Oh, yes, and I do see yes. Okay, actually I went to an 11. And this is coming out now too, too quickly, but at least we do have something to taste. So let me just kind of aim. So we're not even really doing five bars, but um, all right. So we're getting something looking like espresso, let's say. Uh, last time with the light profile, I actually had it on 10 and only drops were coming out. So you see, it's always quite a surprise that you're in for. Um, but we're not only doing the espresso here. I also prepared some cupping. Let's just get it quick. Okay, I can say this is already a very intense espresso, very, let's, let's say Italian-like, although supposedly I'm just doing the medium profile with the Gini Cafe. Uh, before we go into the profile, I'll just start up the, the cuppings. And to compare to something of quality, Really, I like this 100% Robusta roast wake up because, of course, Robusta has more caffeine. I guess that's the reason for the name with Wakuli. I don't really know what Wakuli means, but it's a spicy Robusta. I mean, Robusta tends to be spicy by itself, right? What I really like is that they advertise the roasting date, just, just that, and then saying, well, it should be maintainable up to one year after roasting it, um, drinkable of, of a certain quality level. So this one is from Amsterdam, a lot of roasting, uh, but the beans are from Indonesia. Rende now, don't know if that's a specific place there. And apparently they ship it in 225 grams, so maybe they also kind of start out with you know, what will remain from 250 grams of roasting. Um, so this is, this is the roast that we did. You see, quite very dark, and that's reflected in the espresso flavor. So it's not a fair comparison, it's, it's, this is just roasted minutes ago so this seems to go more in the direction of chocolatey and here I actually pick up some berry like something but let's just start adding water to it all right so I'm following Rob's cupping 8.5 grams be around 120 milliliters of water. If, oh, overshot a bit there. That's 136. All right, but you can see a lot of um, crust forming. But this one also still has a nice crust. 
And I'll shut that one also a bit. That's now 145. So that's not a completely fair comparison this way. So let me just add a few drops here too. Okay. So at least we're getting the ratio to be equal. All right, so now we do have a few minutes to let these settle and have uh, maybe first a sip of the cooling down espresso. And if you would be served this in Italy, you might think it's a regular Arabica Robusta blend, but uh, you would be having 100% of uh, the Robusta. Um, so here we are. The medium roast, so it was 14 minutes at 240 degrees. Still acidic characteristics and sweet flavors. A nut-like color. Well, you know, we're past nuts at this point, I would say. Um, and again, American style. I mean, the Americans are all over the place because last time in the cinnamon roast, that was also American style, slightly acidic. I guess, you know, it's actually, if you look at the French roast, is then European style. That's, that's uh, how we're known, hard roasters. We just, we just completely go for it. I'm actually worried about this concept that I'm doing here is wanting to try out every one of the Genie Café reported roasting levels with these beans because at the high ro this I think is just before second crack I didn't pick it up but of course in the Genie Café even first crack is difficult to hear uh, let's not speak about second crack and for this series I'm doing the complete cycle so the roasting and then the cooling cycle so it's um, it's quite impossible let's say, to know where this will lead to when I'm doing a high roast. The high roast would be already 15 minutes into 145. I, I guess I'll be able to go up to this. And the city roast would be already 17 minutes into 50. So I'll keep going, maybe one or two episodes, but I don't want to put my machine on fire. I mean, that's, that's not covered by the warranty. So I might, might end up having to play with these settings or actually just refer back to uh, other characteristics of roasting to link to the roasting levels rather than what is reported in the Genie Cafe because very well this is already I think a high medium kind of roast uh, if you consider it like this. So we're here at 3 minutes 40, 50 so almost approaching 4 minutes. At this point, we can actually just already break the crust and see if we pick up anything. Okay. It, it, it really is a nice, when you have like a nice thick crust like this and you're breaking it up, it's a nice experience. But you have to, you have to think quick. So I, I, for me, it's still going in the direction of chocolate. Oh, well, here even without breaking the crust, I'm picking up caramel actually. So for me, this one is actually nice, nice and sweet. Um, definitely in that direction. So, okay, this is going to be a bit of a mess now. Still made the mistake of only having one glass here. Okay. And here we go. So ideally you do this removing of the crust with two spoons. Works a little bit more easy. Because as you're tasting, you really don't want to have any of the of the grounds hitching right with the spoon into your mouth. All right. And 
and let's see do we have a winner i really genuinely like this robusta experience from akuli i have been making only espressos with it so this is also a first tasting it in the cupping i'll give this a first go now actually because i expect it to be less intense so So actually here in the um, cupping the typical Robusta ashiness, it's observable in the background but it's, it's nice and um, acid like qualities. And now for my own Vietnam medium roast. The bitterness is really overwhelming very tangy very tangy it's like drying out the back of my mouth here so of course we're comparing two things two very different types of beans and then um, a different kind of roasting profile so definitely the wakuli is a winner here um, as far as the espresso is concerned You know, when in Italy, I do appreciate an Italian roast. I'm actually drinking it right after tasting the cup. It's it's appearing much more chocolatey now, more sweet. The espresso that I got out of here, even though we could see it wasn't perfectly dialed in. So that's for tasting the coffees. There is one more thing I want to do in last roasting robustas video I was getting intrigued by by the density and in the meantime I've established using the Nutella glass as a way of getting comparative um, data on roasts so I'll first actually go to the roasted beans and get a density measurement okay i'm very curious about it how it will compare to my other so you can see again the, me the technique is just now it's maybe a bit unfair for the for these Robusta giant beans because they're just so big with the finger technique of trying to kind of even out that might be removing more beans and with, with smaller beans that could escape I guess my finger so the roasted density here is 78.5 Uh, let's compare this to the wakuli that we just had and I hope, I definitely hope that I still have enough of the beans to do this. Aye, aye, aye. Okay, this is of course, this is of course the problem of the um, doing this <laughs> um, because um, yeah I'm not I'm not able to get a full glass out of it anymore but we can already conclude something and that is this is 87.3 grams which is of course already quite a bit more than the 78 that we have with the Vietnam Robusta roasted at the Genie Cafe medium settings so also thanks to Carl, uh, this was actually his coffee, but uh, it somehow ended up at my place. So thanks for that. And um, now last thing to do is actually what kind of density did we come from? This was the question I already tried to solve last time. 
Um, and then I was just kind of seeing, well, how many beans does it take to end up with two grams of coffee? Because I was kind of more interested in, you know, the density of one bean, let's say. So here we're seeing now the density of the community. We're at 136.4. 136.4. Now, how does this compare to my other beans? Where do I have that data? Yes, here we are. Here we are. So this 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 is something else. I finally I can prove myself right. I mean this density is already a lot lower than anything I have here. So we have Brazil 171.7, that's actually the lowest. Then we have um, Papua New Guinea. So of course now I'm actually comparing it to I'm comparing it to um, the Arabica beans, so we have 177, so much, much higher densities. Let's give it maybe something to compare it to on its own level. I still have a lot of the Robusta being from Congo, Yangandi, from my botanic garden. Let's just get okay. Let's get a measurement here. But yes, we're already we're already a lot more similar to the Arabica ones. So we're already at 172. Of course. If you remember from other videos, I still have to kind of um, sort them out. So this is not an exact measurement at this point, but 174, very similar to the Arabica I have. These, you know, these Vietnam beans are really quite in their own category. Um, it doesn't actually mention at which altitude they get these giants but um, very um, interesting so hope to see you in the next video of roasting robusta or one of the other sub-series thanks for watching and enjoy your coffees whether it's arabica or robusta